Venice. Located in northeastern Italy is a city that is famous for its canals, architecture, and art. It is a popular destination for tourists from all over the world, and there is no shortage of attractions to visit while you're there. Whether you're interested in history, art, or just want to take in the beauty of the city, there is something for everyone in Venice. In this video, we check out the 10 best things to do in Venice, a travel guide. Welcome to Hotels and Cities, the channel that focuses on great places to visit and worthwhile travel destinations for you and your loved ones. Before we jump into our list, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon to always be updated on all things travel. Now let's get into it. At number 10, the Venetian Ghetto. This is a Jewish part of Venice dating back to the year 1516, which makes it the first Jewish ghetto in Europe. In fact, According to one theory, the word ghetto derives from the Venetian ghetto. Visit the impressive square full of history, including Banco Rosso, believed to be the first pawn shop in the world, and where supposedly the term to be in the red numbers derives from. You can also visit the Jewish Museum with guided synagogue tours. At number 9 is the Grand Canal or Canal Grande, which is a 2.4 mile long water avenue and the main water road in Venice. Featuring numerous palaces, luxury hotels, and four bridges, including the famous Rialto Bridge. Most of the beautiful palazzos on the Grand Canal were built between the 13th and 18th century by wealthy Venetian families to demonstrate their affluence. The Grand Canal is also home to museums, churches, a fish market, as well as the renowned Casino of Venice. Number 8 is St. Mark's Square, or Piazza San Marco in Italian. This is the main square in the actual center of Venice, built between the 9th and 12th century AD in front of the impressive Basilica di San Marco, nicknamed the Church of Gold, a status symbol of Venetian power and influence in the world. The square is also home to the famous Campanile, a bell tower of Basilica di San Marco. The tower features the highest observation deck in Venice, where you can see the city from above as Galileo Galilei did in 1609 when he used the Campanile as an observatory and demonstrated his telescope to the Doge of Venice. St. Mark's Square is also one of the main locations of the famous Carnival of Venice. Number 7 is the Doge's Palace, another important Venice landmark located on the St. Mark's Square. The palace was the residence of the Doge of Venice, the leader of the Venetian Republic and the center of centuries-long power and influence of Venice. Doges ruled Venice between the early 8th and late 18th century, and the construction of the Doge's Palace as we know it today began in the 14th century. You can visit the Doge's Palace, which is now a museum, and experience a rich history of this former superpower. Don't miss the Bridge of Sighs, connecting Doge's Palace interrogation rooms to the new prison. At number 6, the San Zaccaria Church in Venice is home to a unique attraction, a crypt in which many of the Doge's of Venice were buried. Despite the flood-prone nature of the city, this crypt still holds water to this day. Visitors can explore the crypt using certain hours of the day when the church is open for a ticket price of 1.5 euros. While the San Zaccaria Church is an impressive sight, there are many other noteworthy churches in Venice, including the Basilica of Santa Maria della Salute and San Francesco della Vigna. Venice was once a naval superpower and a Venetian arsenal was the massive complex that produced the galleys that made it so. The Arsenal de Venetia was an extensive complex of shipyards, armories, and other buildings, many of which still exist today. While most of the Venetian arsenal is close to the public, it can still be seen during private events or the Biennale of Venice, which takes place in the abandoned Arsenal pavilions. Visitors can also explore the exterior walls and walk along the canal that connects the arsenal with the lagoon. Number 4. Venice is home to numerous museums and art galleries that are worth visiting. The Naval History Museums and Ship Pavilion is located next to the arsenal where visitors can see some of the ships built during the Venetian Golden Era. 
Other popular museums and galleries include the Galleria dell'Accademia, Museo Civico Corriere, Carrezzonico, Venice Glass Museum in Murano, Punta della Dogana, Peggy Guggenheim Collection, and Giudecca 795 Art Gallery. Bridges are an important part of Venice's infrastructure, as well as impressive works of architecture. Venice has over 400 bridges that connects it to the 118 small islands. While the Rialto Bridge and the Bridge of Sighs are two of the most famous bridges in Venice, there are many others such as the Ponte dei Pugni or Bridge of Fists, which commemorates centuries-old Venetian tradition of fist fights between Venetian clans. The losers would eventually fall into the canal below the bridge and foot markings indicate where each part of the clan would have to stand during the fight. Another interesting bridge is the Ponte Chiodo or Nail Bridge, an ancient bridge without rails. Visitors can also take a cheaper alternative to a gondola ride by purchasing a ticket for the Venice public water transportation system called the Vaporetto. Venice is located in the Venetian Lagoon, which consists of over 100 additional islands, some of which are easily accessible by Vaporetto. Murano, for example, is famous for its glass blowing factories, and visitors can even experience live glass blowing and glass making. Murano, located further away, is known for its colorful facades and beautiful lace products. Other noteworthy islands include the quiet Torcello Island, the impressive Venetian cemetery on San Michele Island, and San Terrasmo Island, also known as the Garden of Venice. In summary, Venice is a unique and beautiful city, full of history and culture. From the canals and bridges to the museums and art galleries, there is no shortage of things to see and do. Whether you take a gondola ride or explore the surrounding islands, you're sure to be captivated by the charm of Venice. Some of the top attractions in Venice include the Venetian Arsenal, museums and art galleries, bridges, the gondola and Vaporetto, and the surrounding islands such as Murano and Murano. Don't forget to also visit San Zaccaria Church and its trip, a hidden gem that houses the tombs of many Venetian dodges. Before we end today's video, make sure you scroll down to the description below to check out fantastic deals and discounts on travel and accommodations for your next getaway, as well as essential travel gadgets that you shouldn't be without. That's it for today's video. If you found this video useful, click that like button and share this with your fellow travel buddies. If you want to be always updated whenever we have a new video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to always be in the loop whenever we have new content. Thanks for watching and safe travels.